Good morning everyone. It is 8 in the morning. It's a nice and early start for me today. I am in Roslyn, seven miles outside of Edinburgh city centre. Now, despite my 20 plus years living in Edinburgh, I've never visited this area. And obviously Roslyn is famous for its chapel, which is a, a world renowned chapel, predominantly came into focus more so in the public eye about 2003 when Dan Brown released his and I use this term loosely, novel, The Da Vinci Code. Since then, Roslyn Chapel has become a huge tourist hub. I've actually come out quite early today because I wanted to discover this area while it's, uh, while it's quiet. So no real plan for today, to be honest. The, the route that starts behind the chapel is pretty much just a full 360, beginning and ending there. So I'm just gonna take my time, go for a wonder, taking the views and we'll finish back at the chapel via the castle so lots to show you today and i hope you enjoy it Behind me are the ruins of Roslyn Castle. This dates back to about the 14th century and it was built just into the side of the cliffs here and it's accessed via this bridge that you can see behind me. Okay, well this looks interesting. I suspect, given that it's charred, that this was actually struck by lightning. Right, so we're going to pass under the bridge that joins the castle there. It's way through some mud. It's been very, very quiet. I've only passed one dog walker. It's about half past nine in the morning. One thing I've noticed with this being part of the castle ruins in the wall here, a lot of them have these little, these little holes. They're filled in, they, they're not hollow. In fact, I lie. I don't know if you can see that but it actually does go up. So perhaps it was a sewer system for the toilets. It would just come out here and then down.
So it's a nice dry day today, but I can imagine on a wetter day, coming up here, we would just be a sea of mud. So bear that in mind. This is actually a nice little picnic spot. You've got a hot day, you've got some shade here. Kind of resembles a, a snake slightly. I think with a path as narrow as this one, um, it pays to come out as early as you can because there's going to be a lot of stepping aside allowing people to pass and watching your balance because there can be a bit of a drop down into the glen below. Okay, so I've just looped back. So that was the obviously the bridge that I came under and I'm actually going to head off now to the right as you come through. Okay, that's right. so that's fenced off, but the path, if you're willing to crouch down, the path does appear to be able to go through here. So I'm just gonna have a quick wander. Yeah, there's a lot of fallen trees here. So this is probably at your own risk. been here a couple of hours and it's now mobbed with uh, tourists as soon as I came back and circled around the castle you could just see people everywhere there's lots and lots of noise so um, yeah come out first thing in the morning if you just want this place to yourself I think the best decision I made was just to wing it there are routes that you can do there's I think there's a just a two and a half mile uh, loop and there's a five mile one that takes you kind of just around the outs outskirts of the estate and then back around again but given that there's a lot of trees that have fallen you might find yourself having to do a bit of scrambling and some sections look to be blocked off as well so i say come out of a nice afternoon have a nice little walk around maybe have a picnic and just take in the views and the ambience So I am going to uh, start to make my way back towards the chapel now and I am aware that there's no filming photography allowed inside the chapel however external photography is allowed so I'm going to sign off now and I'm going to leave you with some images of the chapel I hope you've enjoyed this little walk I hadn't planned to do this it's just a little morning adventure for me so if you like these smaller freestyle films then let me know in the comments below and I'll maybe think of some more to do so until the next time take care and I'll see you then